Welcome to the first project from our book, Full Stack JavaScript. So this example, it's uh, about Bootstrap. I'll show you how to use the scaffolding because we will be using the similar structure in all the other projects. So first we start with the doc type HTML, then we have head where we include the Bootstrap file. I put it in the CSS folder. And this is the version uh, 4.0.0 alpha, which is the latest uh, as of this time. Okay, and then in the body, what you want to use, you want to use container fluid. This will enable the responsiveness. And then after the container, you have the row fluid. So this will be a horizontal row. And then span 12 basically tells that uh, it's a width of 12 and then we have this hero unit which is uh, just large text and then btn btn primary btn large those are uh, classes for for the button which uh, btn primary means it's a um, call to action okay so let's see how it works in action i'm in my terminal this is the entire repository for full stack JavaScript. What I want to do, I want to use static. If you don't have static, you can install it with npm install g node static. So the npm name is node static. I'm not going to do it because I already have it. And the, the npm no, name is node static, but the command name is static without the node. And it will start the local server, local web server for you. It's a Node.js based server. Okay, and uh, the URL is your localhost 8080. So if you go to your localhost 8080 and then in the URL you put the folder name which is 01-bootstrap, you would see this page now you would see something like this probably, but I zoomed it in a little bit. So here's our button. This is the text and the whole thing is a hero unit. So let's inspect it. So we have two paragraphs here and uh, let me just go ahead and modify this HTML. So I click edit as HTML. There is another class btn danger. So as you see it changed the color from blue to red. And there are many different classes for buttons. You can change the size. So basically the idea is that you don't use any of these styles on the right side. You don't um, change the color or the size. Instead, you would change the classes. And then the, the library has a lot of classes. So once you change the class, the style will change as well. So that's it for this project.